I'm Kim Clark, founder and CEO of Lift Your Gaze. Lift Your Gaze has had an intense year. Thousands of inmates and people walking through all stages of trauma have experienced healing and forgiveness through our programs in jails and prisons. The state of Florida wants to roll out our program to 84,000 inmates and our newly launched listener-supported podcast, Lift Your Gaze, which is available on Apple, SoundCloud, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and Nona FM, is providing hope to the masses. One woman wrote to us that our books opened up her heart to God and the Holy Spirit so much that for the first time in decades, she feels free and is at peace, even though she's incarcerated. Another former inmate told me that my book saved her life. This is the second time an inmate's told me this. She was going to commit suicide and someone gave her one of my books and she experienced the calming peace of God that transcends all understanding. The order for books are more than we can fulfill with our current budget, and we are still in the process of translating our second book into Spanish to reach the 29% of the Spanish-speaking inmate population. Due to many different circumstances, Lift Your Gaze has had over $100,000 in pledges that were not fulfilled last year. Based on these promised funds, we ordered and shipped books into correctional facilities, and many lives have been redeemed by our taking this step of faith. This results in a $25,000 shortfall, which we are in need of raising by the year's end. Many pe people might feel that number is too big and completely dismiss their ability to help. I feel led to ask you to do three things. Number one, remember that all things are possible with God. A mountain can be moved a teaspoon at a time. Two, pray daily for provision for lift your gaze. Three, pray and ask what God is calling you to do or give. For God does not despise small beginnings. Even a $25 monthly or one-time loaves and fishes donation or a one-time donation of $25,000 can truly help. I always remember that little boy who gave his entire lunch to Jesus, and Jesus used it to feed the multitude. That day, over 15,000 people were fed with plenty of leftovers, all through one single act of obedience. What would giving up one coffee or lunch a week look like in your budget to spiritually help feed the masses? If you are able to give, remember no amount is too small. Go to www.liftyourgaze.org and click on donate. Let us know if you have any questions. We are grateful for your love, prayers, and support for our Lows and Fishes initiative. God bless you.